What up, Rafaelitos? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about inflation here in Georgetown, Guyana. Inflation is a topic the world over. I'm heading down to Stabrook Market again, what I refer to as Big Market, to assess the rate of inflation here in Guyana. Now, inflation is about 8% in the US. And in some countries, it's as much as 100%. Places like Argentina, it's 100%. But in Guyana, nobody's talking about inflation. Nobody's talking about how much prices have increased over the last year. And in my estimation, it's about 33%. Inflation in Guyana is about 33%. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you downtown. Here's where we are. Now we're at the same point we were two days ago. And I'm going to show you the prices of meat in Sabrook Market. So Last time I was in Sabrook Market, that was the day I showed you these buildings. Remember I showed you it's an eight-story building and a seven-story building going up in this neck, neck of the woods, downtown Georgetown. And after that, I went into the market, went into border, uh, went into Stabrook Market and bought some beef and pork and vegetables and stuff. And it occurred to me that nobody's reporting on how much these prices are going up in Guyana and so I just want to show you what the real inflation rate is in Georgetown and I guess for those who live outside of Georgetown you can comment below tell people what the prices are doing in your neck of the woods in places outside of the city capital city but my estimation is that the inflation rate down here is about, that is in Georgetown, is about 33% and I'm going based on meat and the basics, rice, flour, sugar and so on. So I paid 666 Guyana dollars a pound for beef and 680 Guyana dollars a pound for pork and that computes to about $3.20 and $3.30 US per pound for beef and pork. $3.20 a pound for beef and $3.30 a pound for pork. You can compare that with prices in the US or prices in your neck of the woods. But that's, those are the prices here in Guyana. And a year ago, the price of meat, the price of beef, for example, was around $450 a pound and the price of pork was $400 a pound so they've gone up by about 50% in other words 50% higher the price of pork for example is 50% higher from $400 to $600 a pound $650, $680 in fact yesterday or the day before and beef from $450 a pound to $660 a pound, which is a 50% increase. So based on those two items alone, right, based on beef and pork alone, the inflation rate can be judged to be around 50%. But there are some items that have not been affected by inflation. These prices have not changed very much. Peanut butter, for example, is still almost the same and some items just fluctuate widely depending on the season so vegetables depending on whether it's raining you know whether it's rainy season or it's a dry season vegetables will be expensive or inexpensive depending on the season so the inflation rate is the average price, right? It's the average price of items, basic items over the period of a year. 
And so when you average these prices, I think it's about about a hundred, about uh, thirty-three percent. So here we are in Starbuck Market area. Now I'm gonna take my phone off of this extension so that I can show you up close some of the um, items in the market and of course so that I can hold on to my phone more tightly. So stay tuned.